Hi guys, this is Renee from iteachblogging.com, Renee Girls Prints, and in this video I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily design a cover Twitter header image. There you go, that's the right words, isn't it? Alright, so here's what you do. You go to canva.com and you click on this more button right here. And then scroll down a little bit, it's kind of hidden in my opinion, but here we go, under social media headers. You can notice they have Facebook, YouTube, nice little ones here, but we're going to do the Twitter. So click on Twitter. And this is really great because they have some free templates that you can start with. So they also have what's paid. So pay attention, close attention to that because if you're not wanting to spend any money, you can see that little dollar sign right there. You're going to want to pick one of the free ones. So for the sake of this, we're going to, I'm just going to click on this one right here because I think it's nice. And there we are. This is really great because they show what's going to be shown, right? So you can see right here, this is where your profile picture will come up. And this is where the header, there's some information here, like the home and all of that, right? And they put that a little bit over the image so you can see there. Now, when you've got something and you want to change your text, all you do is click on it and you can highlight the text and start typing. I love blogging. All right, so then you can just click anywhere and there it is. If you want to change the text size or text kind, you just click on it again and you can choose a different, they have quite a few choices as you can see here. So I could choose a different text. Uh, I can change it to a smaller size if I wanted to. I can change the color, so picking on that. And that's kind of nice. If I don't like any of the colors that are given to me there, I can either put in a color code, which is the hex code, or I can just drag this little thing around until I get just the perfect color. And that's really nice and easy. And then I can change this text here. Let's just say. And again, if I don't like the text, I can, or the fonts type, I should say, I can just highlight it and start choosing here and go with a different one. Change the color. And we are set. Now, for the sake of conversation, let's say that I decided I didn't like this background. Over here on the left, you can choose on backgrounds and they have some free ones. There's not a ton, I will say, but you could drag this one over, just click and drag. Now, it, if you notice, it didn't show up. So you're gonna wanna delete this background here. So all you do is select it and notice that the, the highlight is around the entire thing, all right? And then you just hit the trash can and there's my blue background. Now let's say that you have a background image that you would like to upload. You can do that too. So you go over here to the left and you click on uploads and then you say upload your own image. You find it on your hard drive, right? And then let's just say, there we go. It uploaded over here on the left. We can see it and we can click on it and right there it is. Now I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger so that it fits. And the other thing you're going to want to do is send it to the back so that you can see your text. You can bring it forward or you can bring it to the back. All right. So that's really cool. It's really nice that they allow you to bring in your own images and you can reposition everything by just kind of clicking. The key here is just to click around and when there's something you want to change, just go ahead and click on it and it gives you some really nice options. You can see it can change one word or I can highlight the whole thing and I can change the color of all of it. And it's really nice. Now when we're done, obviously this is a terrible looking design, but when we're done, you can choose the download and you can download it as a web image, which is JPEG, a PNG or a PDF. I recommend you go ahead and do the JPEG and it's going to download and then it'll be downloaded to your hard drive. And at that point you can upload it to Twitter. All right, I hope that this helped and blog on. By the way, in my associated um, blog post, I have some notes on design for these things. Just a few notes to help you out and make a better Twitter header design. All right, blog on.